Well, tonight, the top guy at the Department of Corrections sitting down in an exclusive interview with 2 News about what's going on inside the walls of his prison and accusations of gang violence. Brona Tumulty outside the prison tonight. And Brona has been working now for days to get information about this alleged stabbing. Yeah, guys, about a week ago, we did a story about the elimination of what's known as the A-B schedule, which has essentially kept rival gangs separated in the prison for about the last five years. Now, after that story aired, another woman called me saying she, too, is terrified for her son's safety, alleging he has just been stabbed nine times inside of the prison. He's still a son, a father, a brother. He's still a loved one. Mickey Winrow's son is serving time. It breaks my heart. He's a good kid. She says she heard about an inmate being brought to hospital a couple of weeks back. Never in a million years did I think it was my own son. Then her son called. My son was stabbed nine times. Something about the AB um, situation with gangs. We told you about the elimination of the AB schedule before, put in place about five years ago to separate rival gangs. Known rival gang members were not going to be in the same recreation area at the same time. That's accurate. Mike Haddon, executive director of the Department of Corrections, says they largely phased it out in November to benefit inmates. It was delaying. Um, their completion of a high school education, substance abuse treatment, sex offender treatment, cognitive behavioral treatment. Since its removal, he tells us violence has dropped. We're at about a 13.5% decrease. Do you believe that? I absolutely don't believe that. I am aware of every incident that occurs over at the prison system. But the alleged incident regarding Winrow's son didn't ring a bell. She says in the past month, her son was stabbed nine times in inside the prison walls. Are you aware of that incident? Um, not that one in particular. As for Winrow, she says her son could see extra time behind bars over this, meaning he's not the only one serving a sentence. I mean, I worried before, but it's so much more elevated now. Now, if you're sitting at home thinking, I don't know any anybody in prison, what has all this got to do with me? Well, consider this. If an inmate is medically treated, you, the taxpayers, are footing that bill. If you'd like to see the full interview during our brief time with Mike Haddon, we're going to get that up online under this story at KUTV.com. Live in Draper, Brona Tumulty, 2 News. All right, we'll continue to follow up. Brona, thank you.